Hi everyone, this is Ram from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. So in this video, we'll talk about how to use namespace in XML file. So in the previous video, we have seen what is an XML file, how to declare uh, what is a namespace, how to declare it in an XST file. Now I will show you a practical demo, how to show, how to declare uh, namespace in XST and also how to use that namespaces in an XML file. Let me start with a quick demo. Now if you see, this is an XST file. So you can see it here. So this is an XST file, so which we generally uh, we developed in the previous videos. So this is a car order XST file. Okay. Now, for example, the uh, namespace, the main idea is if someone has declared address type, like someone who is sitting beside me in my company or somewhere other developer in the world, if he has declared address type, now if I want to use both XSTs at a time in an XML file, so that conflict will happen because from which name from which xst the element is getting referred so that will be difficult in an xml file so in this case that came the concept of namespace now as we already discussed so that is syntax of uh, namespace is you need to use target namespace is equal to so you need to use an uri which is an uniform resource identifier so i'm going to use http colon www.info.com and i am going to use this is a car order so i am going to use a car order which is a this is a purchase xst i am going to define as purchase xst okay so this is a target namespace that i have declared so this is a namespace so whatever the elements that i have declared here so all these elements will be targeted to this namespace which is this one okay now if i just validate and if i just validate now and if i click now you can see car order type must refer to an existing simple or complex type. So why we are getting this error? This is because you have referred a namespace and that means a package in a Java. And in order to use that, you need to use a fully qualified name. Now, as we discussed in the previous video, if I use like this, and if I use colon, etc., in every complex type, wherever we have defined the type, it will the readability of XST document gets decreased. So what I'm going to do is, so here only XML, ns colon i am going to use car okay so here i am going to put see whatever the namespace so that means this is an alias name that i am providing to the actual namespace now if you see we can directly use this and car here so if i just place it here so this is a car order type i can just use car order type now if i validate again now you can see we are getting uh, error here product type so whatever the elements here you have to declare everything namespace so here also i have declared and these are the primitive elements you don't need to declare here whatever the complex elements that means user defined data types for that only you need to define namespace that you need to remember which i already talked about in the last video so core control colon country type now if i validate now you can see this is a valid so in this way you need to define a namespace and you need to refer that namespaces in the user defined data types now how to use an xml file how to link an xml file to this xst now to develop an xml file let's see now i'm going to create an xml file so which is extensible markup language and i'm going to refer this schema so this schema is present here so which is now i have developed nine underscore two now let me click ok now you can see automatically it is taking the namespace okay now for example i am going to remove this okay so by default it will be so by default it will be xml and s colon xsi and xml xsi colon schema location now if you see in the previous videos if you have carefully observed in all the xml files you can see no namespace space schema location is we are getting because there is no namespace for the xst that we have attached to this XML, that's why we are getting. But the current one, if you see, we are not getting no namespace. That means by default, it is pick, it picked the car as a namespace, okay? Now I am going to remove, so it is automatically generated. Let me remove that, let's see. So this is exercise colon schema location. And what is the schema location? So this is an XST, okay, XST. So why we are getting this? Let me remove this also, okay? Now, if you see, so this is the basic one, which, so like this, when you don't write a namespace in an XML file, how it shows. So I made it like this. 
Now, if I just validate here, now well formed is fine. And if you validate, neither an element declaration nor a type definition is known for element car order. So it is telling car order some element. That means you need to refer the package, which is nothing but a namespace. Now, what I'm going to do is for this, so I'm going to, so it's the same concept again, XML NS colon. So you have to use XML NS colon. And uh, for example, you need to use a car. Okay. So this is a car and I'm going to paste this one. Okay. So if I just again validate and again validate, now you can see we didn't define this car. So if I just put car, car colon. So now if I validate, still we are getting strict assessment failed. Why we are getting still? If you see here, I am giving a schema location, which is an XST. And I am using an XML uh, alternative name I am declaring in an XML. And this uh, car, I am using a predefined XML namespace before the element. Still, why I am getting that error? If you carefully observe why we are getting, there is a logic here. If you see an XST, I am using only one XST file. For example, I want to use one more XST file, which is 9 underscore 1 dot XST. I want to refer both. Now, in this case, how this XML gets to know this car is from which XML namespace? Is it from, if you see here, so which XST? So which XST? So there are two XSTs. So you have declared a namespace, which is a car as an alias name. You have declared a namespace. Now, this alias name you are using for the elements. Now, how this XML will get to know from which XST file I am getting this uh, namespace and I am getting this alias. How it will get to know? It won't get to know. So in that way, what you need to do is the syntax for is XML, uh, XSI colon schema location. So here you need to place whatever you are using here, HTTP, this namespace you need to provide before the XST. That means you are telling this X namespace is coming from this XST file. And if you have any one more namespace for this XST file, if you want to use, you need to place that namespace. For now, I don't have, so that's why I'm not giving any. So if you want to use one more namespace in the same 9 underscore 2.xst, you need to place one more here by giving space. Okay, now I have referred my namespace. I have, I told to XML directly, this namespace is coming from this XST file and this uh, namespace I have given an alias and this alias I am using it in the element. Now, if I validate, you can see the error which we are getting previously that is not coming. This is a new error. This is because the product quantity is a um, max occurs equal to like min occurs equal to one. So you need to provide that element. So here also I'm going to provide something. So now if I validate, you can see the XML is one. Okay, so that's the reason. So in this way, you need to attach an XST to an XML file, which is having multiple namespaces. Next, so one more point, if you see here, I am using car for only the root element. I am not using for the inner child elements. Okay, why this is happening? Because in some of the XMLs, you can see inner elements also might be using car, which is a namespace. Okay, but why this is happening? This is because of this element form default. This I didn't explain in the previous video. I just stopped because I wanted to explain it here. Okay, so when I put qualified and unqualified, when I put qualified, that means all the child elements along with the parent need to use a namespace, which is a qualified namespace. Now I saved this. If I go here, if I validate, now you can see error we are getting. Products is not allowed under element. That means here, you need to provide car colon. And again, if I validate, you can see the error is coming at product. Again, car colon. And if you see, if I validate again, you are getting here. So in the every place, you have to declare car colon for every element as well as an attribute because we have defined as qualified. That means every child element needs to get qualified with the namespace name. Now you can see car. Now if I validate, now you can see this is valid. So in this way, you need to develop an XML file. So using this knowledge of XML and XST, we can troubleshoot easily in Power Center as well as in ISES. Now you can provide your feedback and support with the Informatica channel. Thank you for watching this video.